Beamish new buddies. Man, it feels like March here in central Pennsylvania. It's cold and windy. It was crazy windy last night. We were laying in bed and the wind was howling. The windows were shaking. Woo! I don't see a bunch of crap blowed away, but definitely felt like a little 150 year old house might blow away last night. Everybody's hungry this morning. They're just sitting there watching me mix their milk. You guys are starving. Come on through guys. I'm gonna feed the goat first. Oakley sounds downright hungry. Get out of here. That's my belly you're trying to nurse from. Hey, you hungry buggers. Come on, Oakley. Get back. Get back. Come here, Oakley. Come here. Come here, girlfriend. Come here. Goodness, you're so hungry. Look at your milk mustache. That's it. Look at your milk mustache. Our duck swimming pool blew away last night. The good thing is, even with all that wind last night, my uh, uh, cow panel barn hut thing I built still stands strong. One of these days, I'm gonna get me a set of them square sockets and make this kind of stuff much simpler. Ooh. This won't be the first time I use this Evaporust Therm Cure, but this will be the worst case I ever used it on. So hopefully it's it's good, like I know Evaporust stuff to be, but I guess we'll find out in the long run. This thing here was a little bit of a basket case. He uh, broke the key, needed a new key switch. Uh, it's got a couple oil leaks, a valve cover. Gasket's leaking a little bit, just a little tiny bit. He told me to do some little tinkering on it, make it make it good, and then, you know, he had to have his, <clears throat> he wanted a chrome stack for it, make it look good. For a little, little old tractor, it runs pretty good, fires right up. <laughs> thing seen better days it's fairly clean in there not sure the history of the motor but I don't know if it was rebuilt or anything but looks pretty good for an old old engine so now the only problem is I have to get a, a PTO cover gasket Steiner didn't have one so I guess I'm gonna have to make do with some RTV which I hate to do, but on this old stuff, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. The valves don't sound too bad, so I'm not gonna adjust them. They sound pretty good to me. I mean, I'm no mechanic, but they don't sound awful. 
So now we'll just put it back together. Am I going on backwards? Maybe. There we go. Make sure you put it on the right way, you donkey. And click. But it's definitely leaking out the PTO cover with stuff right now. I don't even know if I can get oil. I heard that it's getting harder and harder to get that stuff. So we'll have to see. The tractor supply might let me down. Okay. I told him he better get a bucket for it because he was against putting a flapper on it. But this tractor, nice. Perfect. That really gives it that shining touch. I should probably cut that. Uh, exhaust down a little bit so it's not as high but I think for now we'll leave it like that I think we'll get the rest of it buttoned up and get it back to him this week sometime and he'll be happy as can be I'm sure the good thing about ordering from Steiner tractor parts Fat kids get cow tails. Can't beat that, ain't.